Hello student, we have started our fifth module that is the wind energy in our previous video and uh, in that video we have covered the introductory part of the wind energy that is the introduction and which contain and which contain the nature of the wind again historical background of the wind energy and recent development in the wind energy these all are the three main parts which we have covered in introduction of the chapter fifth that is the wind energy now in that video now in this video we have to see the different types of the rotors which are used in the wind turbine or wind machine so let's start with that so classification description of the wind machine this is the second point of our chapter first we see the classification the wind machines are generally classified in terms of the orientation of the axis of rotation of their rotors as a horizontal axis machine and vertical axis machine as we mentioned in our also as we mentioned in our previous video the wind turbines are classified into two types wind turbines or wind machines first is the horizontal axis wind machine and second one is the vertical axis wind machine and these two types are based on the orientation of the axis of rotation so generally these two types and these types are based on the the axis of rotation which is used in the wind turbine and uh, if it is vertical then the wind turbine is a vertical axis wind turbine and uh, if it is horizontal then the wind turbine is the horizontal axis wind turbine in an horizontal axis machine the rotor axis is horizontal and is continuously adjusted in a horizontal plane so that it is parallel to the direction of the wind stream that is in first type that is a horizontal axis machine in the horizontal axis machine the axis of rotation is horizontal to the direction of the horizon or adjusted in the horizontal plane and it is parallel to the direction of the wind stream that means the direction of the wind stream and the the axis of the or the rotation of the axis is a parallel to each other that means the axis which is parallel to the wind stream so this is the horizontal axis machine on the other hand in a vertical axis machine the rotor axis is vertical and fixed and is a perpendicular to both surface of earth and the wind stream which generally we is flowing in horizontal direction right when we consider the horizontal axis wind turbine in horizontal axis wind turbine axis is axis of rotation is also horizontal so the the axis of rotation is parallel to the wind direction or wind stream but in a vertical axis wind turbine the axis axis of rotation is vertical and which is perpendicular to the direction of the wind and also perpendicular to the earth surface that means it is vertical so the direction of the wind is horizontal so both of them are perpendicular to with each other so this is the vertical axis machine so these are the main two types of the wind turbine or wind machine now the rotor rotor is a very important part for the wind mill or wind turbine or wind machines rotor consists of generally two main parts first is the blade and second is the hub as we mentioned depending on blades there are different types of the rotors so there are different types of rotor used in a wind machines first is the multi blade type second is a propeller type third one is a saonius and fourth one is the darius type these are the main four types of the rotors and uh, these types are based on the blades which are used in the windmill the first two are used in a horizontal axis machines and last two in a vertical axis machine that means generally these four types and uh, the first and second type is used in the horizontal axis machine 
and the third and fourth type is used in the vertical axis machine so let's start with the first type that is the multiplet type rotor the multiplet type rotor consists of a number of curved sheet metal blades which increases in width going outwards from the center in the multiplet type rotor as the name indicate that multi blade multi means many blades that means there are number of blades that is a more than two blades it may be 10 or 20 or sometimes it may be less than that of depending on the capacity which we want to produce capacity of the or depending on the capacity of that system so there are different blades or large number of blades are available in the multi blade type rotor and these blades are fixed at uh, the center of the circular rim okay at the circular rim and after that these blades have thicker at the center of that circular rim for circular rim and uh, from the center these blades having increasing width and again there is a second circular rim and this second circular rim acts as a support for that blades the number of blades usually range from 12 to 20 in multi blade type rotor the number of blades generally used from 12 to 20 this is the multi blade type rotor that is the there is a center part and generally the multi blade type rotor is uh, constructed in the circular part and the first is the first circular rim from that the blades are or the blades are attached at that particular point all the blades are attached at that point and these blades have small width as compared to the at the tip and uh, from the that circular rim the center of that circular rim there is a increasing of the width of the blades and again there is a second circular rim which acts as a support for the blades and this is the actual multi blade type rotor in multi blade type rotor system or the in multi blade type horizontal axis wind turbine there is again the another part that is a tail vane which is the white part in the right hand figure at the right hand side so this is the vane and this vane is used uh, used uh, to adjust the rotor in a wind direction or along the wind direction so that uh, it can be move with a larger speed so this is the multi blade type rotor they are fixed at their inner end to the circular rim they are means the blades are fixed at the their inner end to the circular rim that is at as shown in the figure at the center of the circular rim they are fixed they are also fixed near their outer edge to a second circular rim which provides supports as shown in the figure there is again second circular rim and this second circular rim rim which acts as a support for the blades and so that these blades are attached to that second circular rim the diameter of the rotor usually ranges from 2 to 5 meter that is the multi blade type rotor has it having diameter which is lies in between the range that is 2 to 5 meter now the second type is the propeller type rotor in a contrast to a multi blade rotor the propeller rotor usually has a large diameter and consist of only two or three blades made up from fiber glass reinforced plastic that means in a multi blade type system there are large number of blades and which are ranges from 12 to 20 but in the proper in the propeller type rotor there are limited blades that is two or three blades and uh, these blades are made up from fiber glass uh, reinforced uh, plastic and the propeller type rotor has a larger diameter as compared to the multi blade type rotor 
so this is the difference between the multi blade type rotor and the propeller type rotor the blade have aerofoil sections and the commercial models have rotor diameters ranging from 30 to 115 meter that means the propeller type rotor which has the diameter which generally ranges from 30 to 115 meter and uh, these blades have aerofoil section aerofoil sections means the foil section helps to orient the rotor in the direction of the wind this is the propeller type rotor as we mentioned we can use two blade propeller type rotor or three blades propeller type motor the left hand figure shows two blade propeller type rotor and the right hand figure shows the three blade propeller type rotor this is all about the propeller type rotor now the third type of the rotor is the Savonius type rotor the first two types that is a multi blade type rotor and the propeller type blade, propeller type rotor these two rotors are used in the horizontal axis windmill or wind machines and the third and fourth type is used in the vertical wind machine so third type is the Savonius type rotor the Savonius rotor consists of essentially of a hollow cylinder approximately elliptical in shape sliced in half that means if we consider the cylinder and if we cut the cylinder from the center then we get the two equal halves right and this half part of the cylinder and and which is the hollow similarly the second part is also hollow the two halves being fixed to a vertical axis with a gap in between to make an S shape that means first we have the cylinder we know that cylinder is a hollow in from inside and if we cut the cylinder from exactly at the center then we get the two equal halves and these halves have concave part inside right and this concave part which is the hollow part and these two halves right and these two halves are fixed to a vertical axis and so the fixing is done in such way that we are able to form S shape that means S shape because why S shape because if we, f we are able to form S shape then we can easily rotate the that rotor or we are able to generate the pressure difference on that rotor and so due to pressure difference these rotors can be easily move this is the s shape or savonius type rotor if we suppose we have a cylindrical part that is a bottom part which acts as a support this cylindrical part if we cut from the center then we get the two half part or the two pieces which have equal in a size and these two halves are fixed at the vertical axis as shown in the figure there is a vertical axis at the top and the two halves that is a first and second halves are connected to the that or fixed to that vertical axis and they are connected in such way that there is a formation of s shape which is shown in the figure the torque is produced by the pressure difference between the two sides of the half facing the wind when the wind is flowing this wind passes through that shape or passes towards that shape and this shape has a concave part inside and the concave part outside sorry convex parts outside due to concave part the there is a maximum pressure right and uh, on the convex side that is the outermost side there is a less pressure so due to that pressure difference uh, there is a motion of the rotor now this is the basic principle behind the savonius type rotor how it rotates now the fourth type is the 
डेरियस टाइप रोटर दिस टाइप ऑफ रोटर इज अ शेप्ड समवॉट लाइक एन एग बीटर्स वी हैव वी ऑल ऑल ऑफ यू नोन अबाउट द एग बीटर विच इज अ इंस्ट्रूमेंट जनरली यूज इन अ किचन एंड द डेरियस टाइप रोटर विच हैव शेप समवॉट लाइक एन एग बीटर इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू और थ्री ब्लेड्स हैविंग ए एरोफॉइल क्रॉस सेक्शन दैट मीन्स द एरियस टाइप रोटर ऑल्सो कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू और थ्री ब्लेड्स एंड इट ऑल्सो कंसिस्ट एरोफॉइल क्रॉस सेक्शन अलॉन्ग द लेंथ द ब्लेड्स आर कर्ड इन टू ए शेप कॉल ट्रोपोस्काइन दैट मीन्स द शेप ऑफ द ब्लेड्स विच इज इन कर्ड शेप एंड दिस कर्ड शेप इज नोन एज द ट्रोपोस्काइन द ट्रोपोस्काइन इज द शेप विच ए रोप उल टेक अप इफ रोटेड अबाउट ए वर्टिकल एक्सिस दैट मीन्स इफ वील टेक ए रोप एंड विच रोटेड अबाउट द वर्टिकल एक्सिस देन देर इज अ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ अ पर्टिक्युलर शेप एंड विच इज द कर्ड शेप एंड दिस शेप इज नोन एज अ ट्रोपोस्काइन विच इज शोन इन द फॉलोइंग फिगर दैट इज अ दिस शेप ट्रोपोस्काइन सपोज वी टेक ए वर्टिकल एक्सिस दैट इज अ द वर्टिकल एक्सिस विच इज शोन इन द फिगर एंड अबाउट दैट वी कैन fix a rope and this rope takes a particular shape which is the curved shape and this shape is known as a stroboscope the left hand figure which consist of two blades so this is the two blades darius type rotor and the right hand figure consist of three blades and so this is the three blades darius type rotor so this is the egg beater shape the instrument which is the egg beater and the shape of the instrument is also like that so the this is the darius type rotor it is to be noted that both the savonius and darius type run independently of the direction of the wind because they rotate about the vertical axis that is we know that the the wind can flow from any direction but in the down in the darius type and the savonius type rotor there is no problem of the direction of the wind because it already has a vertical axis so it can collect wind from any direction so if we if we get the change in the direction of the wind suddenly then this type of rotor also rotate or also support for that change very easily so this is the very useful advantage or a horizontal axis wind machine on the other hand horizontal axis machines have to face the direction of the wind in order to generate the power that is as we mentioned just before in a vertical axis the in vertical axis wind turbine the axis of rotation is the vertical so it doesn't matter what is the direction of the wind but in the horizontal axis the hor in the horizontal axis wind turbine the axis is parallel to the direction of the wind when the wind direction is parallel to the horizontal axis then the rotor move with a maximum speed but when this is not happen then the rotor move with a low speed so the direction of the wind is matter in the horizontal axis wind turbine and this is the disadvantage of the horizontal axis wind turbine and this disadvantage is covered or fulfilled by the vertical axis wind turbine so the vertical axis wind turbine is generally used so this is all about the different types of the rotors which are used in the vertical axis wind machine and the horizontal wind machines that is the we have covered four different types of the rotor first is the multi blade type rotor second one is the propeller type rotor and these two rotors are used in the horizontal axis wind machine and uh, sec third type is the savonius type rotor and fourth type is the darius type rotor and these two types are generally used in the vertical axis wind machine so all of the rotor types so depending on that also the depending on the types of the rotor the wind machine is also classified so in our next video we have to see the we will discuss about the different types of the wind machines which are you based on the different types of rotors used for the construction of that particular wind machine so we will discuss 
in a brief different types of the wind turbines and how it works generally if we consider any wind turbine generally the main parts of that wind turbine are fixed so first the main part is the rotor and rotor consists of the blades and hub so the rotor the function of the blades the blades moves when the when we have wind or the speed of the wind is a maximum and uh, this these blades converts the kinetic energy of the wind into the mechanical power and uh, with the help of hub this mechanical power is given to the generator and uh, the second part of the wind mill turbine is in sle and uh, which is which consist of gear bags yaw control mechanism uh, generator all these different parts which helps to generate the or to convert the mechanical power into the electricity and through all that part of the nacelle the mechanical power is converted into electricity and after that there is a cable and this cable is help to pass the generated electricity to the storage system and after the storage system there is a utility requirement that means from the that storage system we can utilize the electricity from for different purposes generally the windmill is a used to pumping of the water or heating of the water so the multi blade type rotor or the multi blade type horizontal axis wind turbine or the wind machine is generally used for the pumping of the water so the there are different applications of the wind turbine but generally used for the pumping of the water so this is all about the different types of the rotors which are used in the wind machine or wind turbine or wind mill so in our next video we will discuss about the different types of the wind machine so we will continue with that in our next video